there is always something happening around the world. We are here today to get you updated about events and programs from around the club. A very good evening and warm welcome to Dharma Television News Time at 8. This is Shristi Khatki. Moving on to the headlines. Nepali Congress to go ahead with convention on the date decided earlier. Seven staff, including pilot of Nepal Airlines Corporation, tested positive for COVID-19. Sandeep Lamichani to play for Jamaican Talawas for a record fee. India becomes third worst affected nation by coronavirus. Heavy rain, landslide and flood kill dozens in Japan. Uyghur exiles filed complaints against China in International Criminal Court. Here we go for news in detail. The main opposition party, Nepali Congress, has decided to conduct its general convention in the first week of Fagun. Despite the fact that almost all activities of the party have been affected by the lockdown, the party has confirmed that it will conduct the general convention on the same date as decided earlier. However, the meeting conducted on Monday has decided to modify the convention, schedule of province, district, election constituencies, palika and wards. Purna Bahadur Khadka, the General Secretary of the party, presented the modified schedule in the meeting. The Congress meeting had begun from Asar 16 with the agendas of the convention schedule and the proposed citizenship ordinance. The new timetable has mentioned that active membership renewal, investigation and distribution should be completed and submitted to the Election Commission by the end of Mangsir. Corona infection has been confirmed in seven staff, including the pilot of Nepal Airlines Corporation, in which four are crew members and the rest are captains of Nepal Airlines who were involved in the repatriation of Nepalese stranded abroad. They were staying at the Salty Hotel after the corona was confirmed in seven crew members, including the captain of the airlines, participation, participating in the regular flight. Other members of the crew are also preparing for the PCR test. There are more than seven positive cases and the results of the cross-verification are yet to come, the source said. According to a source, 40 crew members regularly stay at Salty Hotel as they are in regular contact with the staff of the hotel. It is suspected that corona infection may also occur in the staff of the hotel. Government is planning to seal the hotel. Nepali cricket star Sandeep Lamichani has been selected to play for Jamaica Talawas in the Caribbean Premier League. Lamichani, in his third time at the league, was selected by the Jamaican team in the first draft published on Monday. It is to spend almost a color for Lamichani. The draft value of Lamichani was set at 90,000 US dollars for this season of Caribbean Premier League. He has been confirmed at 130,000 US dollars. He had been confirmed for 5,000 US dollars in the first edition and 70,000 US dollars in the second edition. Sandeep's team includes world class players such as West Indies, all rounder Andre Russell, Carlos Barthbeth, and Robman Powell. Sandeep has already played in the last two seasons of the CPL. He played for St. Kitts and Navies in 2018 and Barbados Trident last season. A total of 537 players from 23 countries have registered their names for the draft of the tournament. India has overtaken Russia to become the world's thus worst affected nation by the coronavirus with nearly 700,000 cases. The Indian government said it confirmed more than 24,000 new cases during a 24-hour period through Monday morning. This brought the total number of infection to over 697,000. The date toll has reached nearly 19,700. Johns Hopkins University in the United States puts India as a country with the third highest number of infection in the world after the US and Brazil. India's government is reopening its economy, citing the low mortality rate of under 3% among people infected with the virus, as well as a lower infection rate per 1 million people compared with Western nations. Last month, the government is its stay-at-home restrictions to allow economic activities to restart. It had planned to reopen the Taj Mahal from Monday. The popular sightseeing spot had been closed since mid-March, but the plan has been retracted due to an increase in infections around the site. India's healthcare system is said to be under pressure, especially in the capital, New Delhi, and the commercial hub of Mumbai, where the virus is spreading. Local governments are racing to expand testing systems and prepare more beds for patients. 
Torrential rains have been pounding Japan's southwestern region of Kyushu over the last four days. Dozens of people have been confirmed dead as the search for the missing continues. Weather and land officials are asking people to remain on alert for flooding and landslides. Nakamoto Yoshihisa of the Meteorological Agency said even if the heavy rain emergency warning is changed to a warning, people should remain on the alert and take measures to protect their leaves. Takamura Yuhei of the Land Ministry said because of the heavy rain over the past few days, Chikugo River has overflowed in Oita Prefecture. Chikugo River spreads across Fukuoka, Saga, and Oita prefectures. Also, the water level of Kikuchi River in Kumatmoto has passed the flood warning level, and there is possibility of flooding. The water level of the Yamakuni River has subsided. Pay attention to the flooding information given by the authorities and stay in the safe places. Uyghur exiles urged the International Criminal Court on Monday to investigate Beijing for genocide and crime against humanity, the first attempt to use international law to hold China accountable for its crackdown on the Muslim minority. A team of London-based lawyers representing two Uyghur activist groups filed a complaint against Beijing for pursuing the repatriation of thousands of Uyghurs through unlawful arrest in or deportation from Cambodia and Tajikistan. The case could bring greater international scrutiny of the Chinese state's power to impose its will beyond its borders. Though China is not part of the court, lawyers say that because the case focuses on claims of unlawful acts by China in two member countries, the case could move ahead. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us. Keep watching Dharma Television for more news and updates. May all the sentient beings be at peace. Stay safe.